This is a J Mix exclusive. Okay. You directed the infamous Toss It Up Beach version, which is a complete fan favorite. We all love it. Why do you think that... It's funny. I never saw it. I never saw the air. That's the funniest thing. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. And as far as I remember, we never, it never aired. But I guess, I guess it did. I think that uh, I think somebody put it out. Why do you think that, it, that they didn't choose to go with that video? It just didn't work. It just didn't work. I mean, sometimes... It doesn't work. I mean, the concept we had was, was, you know, we had a lot of things we wanted to do, you know, from parachuting onto the beach and all the girls waiting for them to come from the parachutes and the stunts and, you know, dancing on the beach. It just didn't work. That, that's all there is to it. We would try to reshoot, and it just didn't work. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I think of all the videos, that's the one that just didn't work. Because you had a previous relationship with Dre, did you see shooting that video as a potential conflict of interest? Because no, 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 not one bit, not one bit. I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about To Live and Die in L.A. Uh, we have already touched upon that there is extra footage that you might, you know, it's in the works that you could make a recut of that video. Uh, so let me kind of let it pretty straightforward. Um, there's not a whole lot to recut on that video. I mean, we could cut it better, that's for sure. Again, another video that we shot maybe on a Wednesday that was ready by, you know, Saturday. Uh, you know, we probably could have better edits on it, better, maybe better color correction on it, uh, even more shots in heaven perhaps. But for the most part, uh, often working with, with Tupac, you tell him to come in three, he'd come in three, and he said, five o'clock, I'm gone. So you, 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 know, you know that coming in, so you shoot what you really need to have. He didn't, didn't have the opportunity to have multiple takes and multiple setups. He really gave you what he wanted, and that was it. And To Live and Die in L.A. was your version of that. Yeah. LA. Uh-huh. Right. So most of that video, if, if I had the opportunity to recut it, I mean, there's so many images we didn't use. Um, and some of the images aren't there anymore. Quite a few of the images only exist. Uh, but it would be great to recut that just to, to do a better treatment on the slides and on, you know, driving around town. We could, we could do a better job with that. I and mean, I, would, I would love to do a, a re-edit and get from the people who are in that video and have them talk about it. That was just, that was that was Tupac having fun. The the food fight. That was something that's happening. You know, like okay, we'll go for it. That was him really having a good time with the people in the video and just having you know not being so serious about it. I mean, having hamburgers at Fat Burgers, which is no longer around on Sunset. I mean, on Samson, Jane Lost Vinegar, and Rosso's. Those are just iconic LA locations. If, if you were able to hypothetically recut these videos, would it be possible to do a high definition transfer? Yes, we shot those videos in 35 millimeter. No question. Everything was shot in 35 with the exception of uh, how do you want it, the concert version. That was shooting the shot in Super 16. This is a J Mix exclusive. What up for Shadow?